And yes, I think we're live and I've turned my microphone on. And I think it's working, he says. Uh, if you are in the chat, please let me know if you can hear me and see me okay. Because uh, I've not done a live stream for a while. So um, just wanted to check that the, the technical things are all together. So uh, yeah, good evening. Uh, my name is Paul Grogan and tonight we're going to be doing a three player playthrough of the Dresden Files cooperative card game using the digital adaptation, which is a direct uh, copy of the board game version or card game version, whichever you want to call it. Um, but we are playing digitally tonight. I am joined by a couple of patron supporters of mine. First of all, we have Matt. Say hello, Matt. Hello, Matt. And you are joining us from? Uh, from Virginia in the United States, and just outside Washington, D.C. It is hot. Right. It's quite hot. It's uh, probably about 34 degrees Celsius. Oh, wow. That is hot. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, people in the chat are saying they can hear me and see me, so that, that that's good. Um, now, Matt, you found out about the Dresden Files, I believe, because I did a stream on this game a few weeks ago. Well, I actually watched the TV show when it was ba when oh, it right. was on many years okay. ago, yeah. and I had played the game, uh, but I'd never read the books. And then you did this uh, stream, and that got me interested. Right. So I went and, and read the books. Yeah, literally read all of the books in ten days. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're only fifteen, and they're not only that fifteen bad. of them. Yeah. yeah. Not that, they aren't that long. <laughs> yeah. So uh, right. Okay. So yes. Thank you very much. Uh, for joining me today. And um, we also are joined to this evening by Hilmar from Iceland. Hi. How are you doing? I am doing good. Now, we also it... have a heat wave here in Iceland. I was, I was going to say. about maybe 10 to 11 degrees Celsius. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> which, which is a heat wave for Iceland. Yes. Yeah. So, no, this is what I was saying on my, um, it was either my last video log or my last live Q&A about, uh, you know, how I've, how I've adapted the channel during the coronavirus situation. And I would have never have thought of doing anything like this beforehand, because I had so many opportunities to play games with local friends. But playing this with you two is just, is just brilliant, you know, because you're in different countries and yet we can sit here and we can play a game together. So, yeah really really good um right just a quick shout out uh, this is not a sponsored video whatsoever this video has only been made possible through the support of my patreon campaign so if you enjoy the content that i create please consider supporting me on patreon at the moment all ad revenue from all of my youtube videos uh, is going to the black lives uh, matters charity so that that's where all of that is going but yeah thank you very much for your support and don't forget to click a thumbs up on the video and leave a comment and do all of that stuff thank you very much Right, so I've got the chat on one laptop. We've got the game here. Um, and off we go. So we're going to click start game. Now, we're going to do tonight, we're going to do hot seat. Which of these scenarios are we going to play? Have we decided? I don't think we have. I have played Stormfront and Full Moon. Okay, should we do I Grave Peril? Sure. Okay, so it's going to be new to all of us. Just so everybody knows who's watching. Uh, we are playing this game on my computer, so I have the app loaded on my computer and I am using Skype share screen for the other two. So they don't, uh, I mean, they, they have a copy of the game, but we're actually using my computer and we're, and we're doing it that, like this. So we're going to play Grave Peril tonight and we can see in the top right, there's three cases, four foes, two obstacles, three advantages. Now, whilst I'm not going to be doing a full tutorial tonight, because I have done other videos on this game which class as tutorials, I think you have to solve more cases than there are. No, what is it? How do you win? You've got to defeat more foes than there are cases. No, you have to have. Um, you have to solve more cases than you have foes left. That's it. Solve more cases mm -hmm. than we have foes left. Right. That's that's how we win. Right. Let's go onward, and we're going to play on Apprentice because it's a hard game anyway. But once you've mastered the game. <laughs> bastard it uh you can choose different difficulty levels we're going to go three uh, players go on. Paul, yeah there is um the picture of matt is actually a little bit too big on my screen and i don't see all the ah so oh, in it's... skype what you need to do is you need to drag matt's picture to the top to get rid of oh. it and then and then my screen will go full screen okay thank you yep yeah, there we go right now, when you play, so we're playing hot seat tonight. We're going to pretend that we're all here. You've got three different options for table talk. You can play this game where you don't allow any table talk whatsoever. 
which personally is not my favourite way of playing any type of cooperative game. Uh, the normal rules are, I think, that we're, we're allowed to discuss briefly what we're doing with each other, um, <laughs> but we're not allowed to show each other our cards. But we're going to play tonight with the open hands variant, because otherwise it's not going to work, because remember, we're using my computer. So we're going to see all of our hands. Uh, and here we go. Right, characters. So, Matt, you wanted to play Karen Murphy. Yes, please. So I'll, I'll be player one. <clears throat> Uh, player two is going to be Karen Murphy, um, and Hilmar, what would you like to play? Any preferences? Um, well, I've, I've seen that Michael Carpenter is, uh, is quite a powerful character, but yeah. I actually think, I, I'm actually though going to go with the um, Arkham Horror Theory and saying that the females are a little bit overpowered, so I'm choosing Susan Rodriguez. Okay, so Susan Rodriguez. Uh, so we've got Harry. Player one is Harry. Player two is Karen. Player three is Susan Rodriguez. Okay, onward we go. So here is the scenario. So a scenario basically consists of 12 cards which get shuffled, dealt out at random, and that is it. That is the 12 cards. There's no deck. There's no none of that stuff. It's just they are our 12 cards. But what we need to do now is we need to examine these 12 cards. We need to work, because it's effectively, it's a puzzle. And we need to work out how we are going to solve this puzzle of solving more cases than there are foes remaining. So let's first have a look at this and see what we've got. Because we've got some of these letters, haven't we? So, okay, let's have a look at this one first. So uh, Leah's Hellhounds. This is six hits to kill it. When defeated, Harry must discard a card. Okay. Uh, and we've got a Red Court Vampire, which needs eight hits. No special abilities on that one. But we have two other foes here which have a C and a B on it. So Bianca, ten hits. But the B means if we take this advantage... Ah, so this is a good advantage. When we take this, when we ally with Thomas, uh, we get some fate, which is good. And we add two hits to Bianca. So we get two free hits on this when we take this. Kravos's ghost has got a C on it, which is here. So when we solve this case, we add three hits to Kravos's ghost. It's bad that that's come out right at the end, but there might be things we can do. Yeah, Karen Murphy uh, may help. Yeah. Harry's attacks on this foe add plus one hit. Right, so I should be the one attacking Kravos's ghost. Cases. So we've got a case here, but there's an A on it. What does the A mean? This one. So shake down Mortimer. When taken, active player draws one card and chooses one other player to draw one card and add three clues to who sent the nightmare. So there's a definite flow in this. We probably want to do this one, which is going to add three clues to that. And then with this, with this is solved, we add three clues to that, uh, three hits to that. Right. What else have we got? We've got um, another case here, which is just 10 clues, and another case here, which is 14 clues. But when solved, oh, this adds four hits to Bianca as well. So we can get a lot of hits on Bianca by doing that and that. Okay. Right. Other advantages. We've got this one. When taken, Harry draws two cards and add four hits to Kravos's ghost. Okay. So there's lots of ways in this game of applying hits to these. Uh, what else have we got? Obstacles. Vampire Masquerade. Until this obstacle is overcome, all cards discarded for fate generate one fewer fate point. Okay. That's nasty. And that's a hard obstacle to get rid of. It is, because it's five away. And also, <laughs> hostages. Uh, no hits or clues can be added to cards at a longer range than this in its card row. Okay, so this is blocking <coughs> all of these. But we should be able to get rid of this one fairly, fairly easily. Okay, right, so that's that. What we now do is we each look at our own hand of cards. Uh, so here's my starting card. So I have two attack cards, a Fuego, Forzare... Uh, so I've got two attack, two investigates, an overcome, and two advantages. So my overcome is only range one, unfortunately, so that can't, that's not going to do anything. Um, that's range one, that's range two. Okay. I don't have Pyro Fuego. That's, that's a shame. Well, it's a shame, but do we have, no, it's actually fine, because we only have two enemies in each row. Oh, that's true. So, that's okay. Right, let's have a look at your cards then, Karen. <coughs> that's Susan. So, sorry, Susan. Let's have a look at Susan's cards. 
Um, so we have an attack card, range three, another attack card, range one, another attack card, range three. We have one investigate, but it's a it's a big one. Okay. Um, we have two two overcome cards, one of which is range three. <coughs> So that, that could be useful. It's very expensive, though. And we have an advantage card. Okay. Ugh. Now let's have a look at Karen. Two attack cards. One range three, one range one. Um, investigate card. Two investigate cards, in fact. Uh, another overcome. And two take advantage cards. Ugh. We're really in trouble with these obstacles. We are, yes. So although it is a puzzle game, there is a random element in... There you go. There's the initial setup. Um, and like a lot of cooperative puzzle games, this might be that this is just not possible. But we're going to give it our best shot and see how we get on. Now, we need to make a decision of who's going first, which basically means we need to have a think about what our overall plan is and what we're going to do on our first turns. Well, we don't want to take Ally with Thomas until we've used up some fate because we get fate from it. Yeah. And so taking it first to... doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So we could maybe do an attack on this first. Uh, yeah, because if we get rid of that, we can deal with that obstacle. We can. Yep. Mm. Although you're going to have to discard a card uh, it, to beat the Hellhounds. Did, didn't so, I have uh, range two? You have a range three. Range overcome. three, yes. Okay, but that is way too expensive for that. Yeah, exactly. Right. It costs four, but you actually get some back. Right, but so maybe we should maybe we should use that when we one? get the this one a little yeah. bit further down the line. Yeah, I think so. Well, because we should be able to. One of us had a range three um, advantage, or to be able to take an advantage, uh, whatever that's called. Take yeah. advantage. Take advantage, yep. <laughs> and one of us have, I think I had a range three. Let's have a look. No. Oh, well, you've got a. Oh, yeah, uh, I don't like these cards enough. where you don't no. know what the range is going to be. Yeah, that's not good enough. Well, maybe yeah. it was Susan who had one, but I don't think so. Let's have a look at Susan's cards. Nope. No. So. Yeah. Well, that means that we have to, to get Shakedown Mortimer. We have to get rid of probably two cards in that row. The first one's easy, but getting yeah. rid of Bianca or Kravis's ghost now, is hard. Don't forget, we all have abilities, and whenever I... where How do you pull up your ability? That's it. Whenever I discard a card for fate points, I can move an obstacle or an advantage oh, card right. one space forward. So if we go with me discarding cards for fate points, I can gradually bring that obstacle closer towards us. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, that's what we'll have to do. Yeah. But is our first plan to get rid of Leah's Hellhounds and then get rid of this obstacle? I think that makes sense. Or at least it should be um, get rid of the Hellhounds or spend some fate to attack it and then take the ally with Thomas. Right. Yeah. Okay. So in terms of attack cards, I've got... I have Fozare, which is a definite two hits at range one. So that's not going to kill it, but that would put two hits on it. Susan has Holy Water, which is a definite two hits at range one. The other two are probably a waste, but they are there. And Karen has four hits at range one. So my Aikido, yeah. Yeah. So between us, we can definitely do it with, and it it, it will work because yours that's a definite four hits, and our two is a definite two hits. Well, so should I go first and attack the Hellhounds? Uh, I think the order is decided, so I think if you go first, it will then be me second, mm -hmm. and then it will be Susan next. Now, Susan, do right. you have a take advantage at range one? You do? Yes. Okay, so I think, I think we've done. Okay, so we're going to click the little arrow, and then it should give us a prompt of who do we want to start. Yes, so we're going to say that Karen is starting. Okay, so if we were actually playing hot seat, I would get up at this point, Matt would come and sit down, click on the button, and off you go. All right, so I'm going to play surprise Aikido attack. 
and we'll hope that maybe we get a reduction in the fate cost. Yeah, because it costs four, and then you roll the fate dice to see. So it might cost three, it might cost four, it might cost five. And we're going to do it on. Why is it highlighting that? Oh, because if oh. we just started for fate, you get one fewer fate. Right, so it's highlighting the fact that there is an effect mm. on this and card if you were to it. could affect it, exactly. Okay. So let's see. This is going to cost us. Oh, we've got to roll first. Excellent. So it's Yay, only cost nice. us three fate. I'm such um, a good player. <laughs> well rolled. So there we go. It's Four not hits. very often that we actually celebrate getting a negative. No, no, no. Roll. Oh, um, the last time I streamed this game and my dice rolls were absolutely <laughs> terrible, the actual producers of the game, Hidden Achievement, watched the stream back and then sent me a message afterwards and said, wow, you had really bad dice rolls. And I'm like, I know, I was playing. <laughs> right, so it's me. <laughs> I'm going to do Forzare. Oh, nice. Well done. Okay, let's we are so good this game. <laughs> but that's two hits. So that's Leah's Hellhounds have been dealt with, but I now need to discard a card. So I think between us, we had lots of take advantage cards. And, and you can get rid of that range one one. We, we're not going to need it. And it's we only are, one fate that we would get if you discarded it. We so. are not going to need it. So that's gone. Right. Susan, you're up. Yep. You can either get rid of the obstacle or do the ally with Thomas. I think the ally with Thomas. Yeah, I, either yes. of them are good. I, I, I think that also. I think that I will take the ally with Thomas because okay. that will also move... Uh, the obstacle a little bit closer to us. Yes. I'm just going to have a look at your special abilities. So your talent is, whenever you discard a card for fate points, you can add a clue to the case at the shortest range. Okay. Mm -hmm. And your once per game ability is flip this card over, choose any player, including yourself, draw a card. That player takes the next turn. Okay. Nice. Because each of the characters does have a once per game ability. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's what yours is. So, you're going to do the Forged Invitation? Yes. So, Forged Invitation to take the Ally with Thomas card. So, we get some Fate Points. <coughs> okay, so we get three Fate Points. Nice. And we've added two <coughs> hits onto Bianca. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, so... Let's just remind ourselves what your special abilities are. Whenever you discard a fate, uh, card for fate, add a clue to the case at the longest range and your once per game ability, flip this card over, collect one fate point for each foe that has hits and for each case that has clues on it. Okay, nice. Well, so maybe I should get rid of that obstacle since I have uh, the... You have the badge. The badge, yeah. Mm. What's the other options? There's not much, is there? Uh, no, I mean, I could do my dead eye shot, which is not a great option. No. I could use interrogation on um, the revenge plot, Bianca's revenge plot. We can't. We can't put anything on that. Oh, that's right. So, so I have no, to yeah, the, the blocker, it. yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Kevlar vest is a risk that we don't want to take, so yeah. I, I think the badge is the best option. Yeah, okay. So a badge to overcome the hostages. <clears throat> Yep. Okay. Done. That's gone. Right. So how much fate do we have? I can't read we that. We have ten. The screen. ten. Okay. We have ten fate. Okay, so Stop. let's look at the situation. This is a this is a big case here. Fourteen oh, no. clues needed. Um, it, it adds four uh, four more I, to the I know. <laughs> yeah. Which and I do have Soul Gaze, which is range one. I think it's probably that's my plan. Mm. Is Soul Gaze, if people don't mind me using the five of the ten fate that we've got. No, I think I think we are good with that. We actually the, have used our cards quite wisely. Well, the other option is that I discard a card for fate and bring this obstacle forward. Yeah, you won't get as much fate, but I, we're going to have to do that, I think. So, yeah, okay, yeah, right. Because uh, Wait, we, yeah, anyone... we are always we are always losing one fate when uh, when yeah. whenever we discard the cards. Well, so hold on, though. Can anyone actually deal with that obstacle at range? Yes, eight? I can. You can. I can in uh, next round. Yeah, that's right. There we go. So and I will collect uh, fate points. 
Nice. Uh, bah. So that makes so, sense. So, yes. Okay, so that's what we should do. Uh, and it's probably this one that I'm getting rid of. I think so. Yeah, so we're going to get rid of this for fate. Mm -hmm. uh, are you sure? Yes. Okay. That's not too bad. Uh, so yeah, we only got one fate from it. But now I am going to bring this forward one space. There you go. Okay, so on Susan's turn. Yeah, we are going to use my press pass to actually overcome the... Uh... Yeah. Nice. Right, so that's the obstacles gone. And uh, we got two fate back for it. So yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's, nice. that's not bad. Right, just to recap on the overall situation, we have three foes remaining, zero cases solved. Remember, we have to have more cases solved than foes remaining, but you do get, at the end of the game, once we decide to go to the, the showdown, we get one last chance to use any remaining fate to basically, yeah, have a, a last-ditch effort. And you can call the showdown early if you want to, but we're not at that stage yet. <laughs> Far from it. I didn't it. think so. No. All right, uh, so let's see. So it seems like I should probably um, discard. Well, I have two options, right? I can use um, Street Sense on that revenge plot. Dead Eye Shot is really expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we, and it the is thing awesome. I, <laughs> it is quite awesome. But the nice thing about using Street Sense. Uh, first of all, it's only three fate, plus it gets clues onto something, so I want to try and build up to use my stunt. Yeah. So we need to get things on as many cards as we yeah. can, practically speaking. Yeah, I think Street Sense sounds good. So yeah, Street Sense on Bianca's Revenge Plot. Yeah, okay. So three fate is spent, three clues go on. There we go. Right, my go. So I think... I, I am tempted to do the soul gaze still. Now that that will mean that we are down to one fate in the pool. Oh, that's risky. Well, okay, what do what do I have to generate? Have uh, well, the, you can get rid of connections because there's no use for that anymore. Yeah. Right. That that is only one fate though. It is. Right. Well, so there's another option, too, uh, mm -hmm. Paul, which is that you could discard It's Not My Fault and then move Shakedown Mortimer so I can get rid of that. So I play, I discard this for Fate, generate one Fate, move this forward one, right. take an active player, draws one card, choose another player to draw a card, and add three clues to who sent the Nightmare. That's not right. bad, because then we and can activate can your ability sometime later on. Exactly, and I can give you a card because you're a card short. Yep. Okay, that works. So I'm going to discard It's Not My Fault because there are no more uh, obstacles to overcome. So I'm going to discard that for Fate. And then I'm going to activate my special ability and bring... Which one am I bringing forward? Shakedown more? Oh. Yeah. I hadn't realized there were two of them. Yeah. Uh... Ooh. <laughs> uh, I, I, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, they're both about the same, aren't they? Well, one gives you two cards. The other one would give you give me a card, and I'll let you choose. Um, why don't let's see? That'll add. I'm just looking at what it adds things to. Actually, why don't we take uh, the. Why don't you move the top one? And the reasoning is that it'll add clues to the one at the end, mm -hmm. but it'll be easy to add um, uh, whatever that word is, damage to the one to the thing at the beginning. Right. Yeah. And I'm just trying to think about adding stuff to as many things as possible. Okay. So it's moving forward. Yep. Okay. There we go. Right. Susan's turn. Seven fate available. Okay. Um. So, well, I mean, uh, discarding the uh, connections 
gives us one fate and it ups it up and we get yes. another round. Yeah. And you'll it. you'll add clues to something. Yeah, you can you will add clues to the case at the shortest range. Oh, okay. Yes. So that will be the one we are dealing with anyway. So Yeah. Right. So that actually is not too bad. Yeah. So you're going to do that? Yes. Okay. So we discard that. We get a fate. And we get a clue there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Karen's turn. All right. So I might as well call for backup. Yeah. Using. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want to risk getting range. No. Move. No. Yep. So we take the Shakedown Mortimer advantage. Exactly. Okay. So you're going to get a card. And um, Harry will get a card. And you're going to say that Harry gets a card. And then we add three hits to who sent that. Right. Okay. So we're looking now, there's four four clues here, two damage here, three clues here. So there's three things with stuff on them. Yeah, um, add damage to one more thing, that would be great. Well, if I can do... Um, oh, you drew Pyrofoico. <laughs> oh, I, did, I drew the card that we said earlier on we didn't really need. Um, I mean, I can discard it for four fate, which is, which is great. I might do the Fuego on this, because that's going to add... Another hit on it. Well, it's going to add actually five, four, five, or six. Right. Well, it will. Uh, yeah. The, the other option. You know, if, if you attack it, you get additional hit. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, yeah, so it's definitely four. So five you'll get or six, at least so. four. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah, it's just it's five but, fate. We've right. only got seven. Well, of, with, yeah. Huh. The other option is that I do the soul gaze. That's only range one. Well, you know, you could do private investigator, and we might get lucky, and you hit the range. And if that you oh. does, you could put a clue on plague of hauntings. Yeah. And if I don't if, get lucky, it, I can put it on something else. Exactly. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do private investigator. Yeah, that's the good way round with these cards. Is always have a backup. So we didn't get lucky, so mm -hmm. I'm still putting two clues on. Well, yes, you've uh, got two options. It's um, Yeah. Where do we want to put it? Well, that's up to you. I, th I think I'm going to put it on Bianca's Revenge Block. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put two on there. Okay. There we go. Right. Susan's turn. Okay. I have... Um... I do have that two fight, mm -hmm. and if I if I do fight the uh, Krevos ghost, then uh, we will have one more. Yeah, that's uh, true. One more thing for for uh, Karen. Yeah. For Karen, so yeah, maybe. Yeah. I think that's okay. Okay. Yeah. So holy no water. Getting, yeah, we know we're getting fate next turn. Yeah. So holy water on Kravos's ghost. Mm-hmm. Okay. So two hits go on. Okay, Karen's turn. We are down to two fate. So are you we're going to use your ability. Exactly. So okay. that'll get us four fate. So yeah, once per turn ability, uh, once per game ability. Uh, to do raw determination. Yeah. So that's that done, and we got four fate. Okay, my go. Now then. Oh. <laughs> we're in this situation where I might use all of the fate that we have. Right. Or most of it, at least. Because my, my special ability, my blasting rod, isn't going to use, be useful now. I can only kill something if it needs one to four hits to kill it. Right. Mm. So what we could do is we could do the Fuego on this Red Court Vampires, and then I can kill it with the blasting rod next turn. Uh -huh. but, what about these cases? Or, how, how are we going to deal with these cases? Well, so if I discard, I add clues to the cases at the end of the line. Yeah. And you've also got an interrogation. Yep. And I've got the motorcycle and the cab the motorcycle I can discard. Yeah. Because we don't have any obstacles left. And we might get lucky and get some extra fade out of it. We might get unlucky and only get one. But Yeah. And I, my, my special ability is actually to... Choose anybody, including myself, to draw one card. Draw a card, yeah. 
and it also interrupts the turn flow. That <laughs> player then takes the next turn. Right. So, and this is where knowing your decks and knowing what cards we still have left in our decks could be useful. We don't. Uh, <laughs> right. No, I'm sorry, I don't. No, no, I don't either. Um, but that, that, would, that would actually, if I get a high value card, three, four, or five, that, yeah. that actually might, because I could, I will then make the next turn. Mm -hmm. And that could actually, uh, that could actually be a beneficial of yeah. for us. Well, okay. uh, so I actually have the app open on my PC so I can okay. look at my deck because I, I do that. So I have a couple of investigation cards and I don't think I have, I have, so I just have a couple of investigation cards left in my deck. Right. I'm, so, I'm thinking to do the soul gaze. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. If you're okay with me using most of the fate. Well, yes. so let's think this through. So I think mm -hmm. that's a good, a good choice because if you do that, uh, that puts that at, well, somewhere between 9 and 11, depending yeah. on what you roll. And then... If we can if, get rid of it, four hits go on Bianca. Bianca's then on six. I can then use my Blasting Rod and kill Bianca. That's Right. But then Susan can discard for Fate, which would add another clue to it. Yep. And then maybe I can get rid of it. Yep. Okay. Going to do Soul Gaze. Mm. And it's it just depends be... how you roll. Oh. Ah. Terrible. Oh, Paul, you're such a terrible player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Right, you're okay. so bad so, at this game. I know. I must try harder at rolling them dice. <laughs> right, Susan's turn. Three cards left. Okay. Um, well, you have to discard for fate. Or, or, or use your stunt. Or use yeah. your stunt, yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, I am actually thinking maybe this should be the time to use my stunt to, okay. to get cards, you know, just to, and, uh, but should I take, if we use it on myself or should we get somebody else to draw? Um, yeah, again, I'm not sure what cards I've got left in my deck. Right. Yeah, I know I have investigate cards and I do not have any more attack cards. I and I had three to start card. with, so chances of me getting... Yeah, I actually might have... have in hand? Uh, uh, so Karen's Karen got four, has four cards four. in hand. Yes, and you got two. And I've only got two, have I? Yeah, isn't that the number Oh, is that uh, the number showing? at the top? Oh, yeah, yeah, so I've yes. only got two cards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, well, then maybe... Maybe it's better for you to go. Maybe it's better for you to draw the card. Possibly, but I mean, yeah, I draw the card, but then I take my turn straight away. So. Well, you would discard something, I guess. Either discard Pyro yeah, Fuego or. That's true. Yeah, I'll discard Pyro Fuego. So, yeah, if you want to do that, that's fine. Mm, with me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so maybe. Yeah, let's stunt. do that. Yeah. So, Harry draws a card. And Harry has drawn. Fuego. No, you no, just consult, you with drew, Bob, consult with Bob. Which is... Uh, oh, that's that's a not a bad card, but... Yeah, so I think I'm going to discard this for fate. Yeah. Okay, now then. I get to use my ability. We can bring something forward if we want to. Yeah, bring that forward, because bring I can take forward. it. Right, okay, nice. There you go. Done. Back to Susan's turn. Okay. Um, we have five fate in the pool. Uh, uh, and we need to... Uh, we definitely... We both need foes killed and... And cases solved. Yes. So... Shoot. If you I am. I am thinking if I... Discard my 22 handgun. That is three possible four, but also possible two. Right. Or we go safe with with three. I think that's and your choice. Discard pen is 
is mightier. Well, the nice thing about pen is mightier is if you can do do the last damage with it. Mm. Oh no! It, it's if it doesn't defeat if it the foe. Doesn't defeat a foe. You should save that one. I yeah. Think. Right. I mean, yeah, you, I, I I agree. I do agree. I think that is a better card. So let's. Uh, yeah, I'm rolling the die, not Paul. So let's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but well, you're you... much better at this game than he is. So you're saying save the pennies mightier rather than use it. Yes. Yes. And discard the two hundred two handgun. Oh right. Yeah, because you're discarding. Right. Okay. Yes. So you're discarding this for fate. Yes. Uh, roll the. Yeah. There we go. Come on. It's another ah! minus. I didn't roll it that time. You can't blame me. You're nope. both terrible <laughs> at this game. Yep. Apparently. Right. So you've added a clue there. Okay. So now turn. I should be able to use the Kevlar vest. Although, oh no, that's terrible. Because if I roll a minus, then I can't take it and the card is wasted. Yep. Maybe I should discard the motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah let me discard it. the motorcycle. Okay, motorcycle has been discarded. Come and on. We get another minus. Well, oh. we got, at least we got two. We yeah. didn't get two minuses. Okay, we had a clue to that one. Okay, right, Harry's turn. So I've only got two cards left. But you have plenty of fate. Yeah. So... So if we, if we actually, if we you uh, try to solve the case... Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it? Up two? No, it's only up two clues. Yeah, consult with Bob is two clues to all the cases in one row. So that would be two on there yeah. and two on there. But I, right. I, I think we're not going to get this one. No, we're not. No. Because you can't get them all. It would be nice to get us in position so you can use your stunt. Use your yes. blasting rod. Yeah, which means finishing this case in order to get the four hits on there to then use the blasting rod. Right. So I think, I mean, are you two in a position where you can... Oh, yeah. Susan can finish four clues. And if the investigation solves target case, add three hits to any foe. Yeah. Yeah, so that's so great. Susan yeah. needs to use the expose. So we need to save five fate for her, whatever we do. Yeah, so I'm going to discard Fuego, which is... Okay. No, no, I'll discard consult with Bob. Yeah, discard yes. that. Discard that. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that puts us up to our max of 13, which yep. is perfect. I can bring oh. something forward, but I don't think we want to, do we? I think we... Does his card have range? Doesn't his, oh, his I can't. I can't check Oh, now. no. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I can you check. You can. You can. Pull up, the, uh, pull up the thing. Okay, so what was his card again? It was... A pen is... No. It was expose. Expose, yes. Uh, Andy uh, is in the... It's at range three. Expose Andy's in, is... the, in the chat, and he's asking what the distribution on the dice are. So the dice are called Fate Dice. There was a role-playing game called Fate, and there's a Fate system. Um, and yeah, it's two blanks, two minuses, and two pluses. Except in our version of the game, we've got, uh, I think, four minuses, one blank, and one plus. Huh. So <laughs> the card is Expose, and it has a range of three. So okay. yes, you can move it. So we can bring okay. this forward... Yes. Space. There you go. Thank you for checking. Mm -hmm. um, there you go. Right. Susan's turn. Expose? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. So that's going on there. Mm -hmm. This is going to do a whole host of stuff. It's going to solve that awesome. case. It's going to add four hits to Bianca. And it generates us three damage, which we can put on anything. So Bianca's already four hits away. Yeah, so Bian don't put it on Bianca. Because Bianca's going to be blasting Roddy. Uh, yeah, it's up but, to you, I think. So it's... Uh, so it is actually right now, it's... Uh, uh, the ghost has ten left, mm -hmm. and the vampire has eight, eight. left. Yeah. So exactly. which which one actually do we think that we can defeat easier uh, I, I think the red court vampires oh uh, yeah okay oh wait a second I, so to, uh, before we do that mm -hmm, i'm gonna mm -hmm. when i take that advantage that hit adds four hits oh it does the ghost yes. yeah so, so that would put us at six. six yeah 
So if you added three, that would put us at nine. Yeah. Okay, and then I can use the uh, pen to... Yeah. To okay, yeah. Even finish right. It. Okay. Okay. So, Kravos' yes. ghost. Yes. Done. Okay, Karen's turn. Eight fate so, left. All right, so I'm going to play the Kevlar Vest. Yeah. Which only costs one fate. Yeah, go ahead and roll. It doesn't matter. There you go. We got the minus. Yeah, it's <laughs> a good thing we did that. Okay, Your so Harry draws left. two cards... And we had four hits to Kravos' ghost. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. My turn, I use my blasting rod. Oh, now we could actually... No, we, I was going to say, I could get rid of either one. But we want to get rid of Bianca. Yeah. Yeah, so Bianca is gone. Okay, Susan's turn. One card left. Yes, I am going... Uh, didn't we say that... Yeah, I can... No, I can't defeat it. Ghost. I only have two. You could, but do you want to? Oh, but to? if it doesn't defeat it, you don't want to, because if it doesn't defeat it, we right. get a hit. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. So let's... And then... we could actually now ignore Kravos' ghost. If we can solve the Who Sent the Nightmare, when that is solved, it adds three hits to Kravos' ghost, and that's, yeah. that's that gone. So work on the Red Court Vampires, I think, is I what think this is yes. coming to. Okay. You happy with that? Yep, I am. Okay. Yeah, the only problem we're going to have is that she's out of cards. Yes. But there's nothing we can really do about it. So we're going to put three more clues on the Who Sent the Nightmare. Yep, let's do that. Okay, right. So, okay. Karen's turn. Two cards left. Uh, so I think... should I? Which one should I discard? Because I don't want to play interrogation and leave us at zero. Because Harry has more cards. I don't think we need the dead eye shot. I don't think so. So let's... Um, I mean, it could potentially do six damage, which is awesome, but it seems unlikely. Though, especially the way we're rolling. Right. Um, then again, two clues. Is that going to be really enough? Uh, Might be for the showdown. What, is, what does that say? If it solves the target case draws a card once you get rid of interrogation you're gonna get rid of it yeah let's get rid of that okay that has gone okay <clears throat> so <clears throat> add a clue to the case at the longest range uh that gone. one yep who sent, who the, sent the night nurse right harry's turn so i've got loads of cards <laughs> yeah you've got obstacles or overcomes you can overcomes, discard which, which can just be discarded for fate or you can do fuego or so Apolloistic. Um, no. I just called the tech and he said, disregard all the instructions and just do the same well, thing. We've got sense? the uh, conversation in the background. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's, that's all right. I apologize. That's me. Um, let, me let me see if I can mute here. There we go. Um, I don't think I want to do that. I think we just want to do this and discard it. So we'll discard that for three fate, putting us up to 11. Mm -hmm. So here's what happens on your turn, Hilmar. Um, you have no cards left in hand, so right. you either pass or we call the showdown. But I don't think we want to call the showdown just Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. And yeah. that is one fate we lose for that. Yeah. So you yeah. pass. That's the pass button, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So you pass. Um, that's one fate gone. Right. Right. Next. Karen's turn. All right. So. Do it. Yeah, let's uh, and actually get to roll the fate dice first, so we'll see what I got. Yep. So, so let's do it. Dead eye shot. Oh! <laughs> wow. Sorry. Oh, that hurt. I, I think hidden achievement have added an algorithm into this game. If I, if yeah. user equals Paul. <laughs> well, so the fate is spent anyway. Um, So if we do Kravis's ghost, we can even if we don't finish that case, we'll be able to just get rid of it in the showdown. Yeah, but we won't win then. We still well, then the only other option is all right. So let me get rid of Red Court Vamp or yeah. attack Red Court Vampires. Yeah, stick to I don't it. like it, but I don't know what else to do. No. Right. So you two are out of cards. It's on me, and I think I'm going to do Fuego. Which uh, leaves us with no fate. Which leaves us with no fate going into the... Which we can't do. 
So I, I need to discard this. We need to discard Fuego. And then we go get... into the showdown and we try. Let's have a look at the showdown card. So when we go to the showdown, if we spend five fate, we can get four clues. Well, <laughs> potentially. Maybe. And we need six. We need right. six clues on this. The chance of us getting six clues is not much. Well, but there's also the foes with hits, right? So, okay. Um, we only need to get what three hits three. on Travis's ghost and four hits on the red cord vampires, and we'll have enough fate to do that. Possibly, yeah. We'll have four fate to get three hits on Kravis, um the ghost. Yeah. So that'll be done, definitely. Yeah. But then we don't have it. Mm. But yeah, the, the, have, the, the, if you just show Fuego, we'll have another six fate left to deal with to try for other things. It's a dice roll, but yeah. I think that's mm -hmm. our best shot. Because if I do I, the Fuego so now, I will kill one of these, but then we will go into the showdown with nothing left, and nothing left is bad. Anyway, it's still it's still a roll, but yeah. But it will get rid of that. It will put us at one and one. Mm -hmm. Right. But that, that's a definite lose, because, yeah. Okay. But the thing I'll is, we're already it. at one. If you discard it, we're definitely at one and one. Yeah. And we have six fate left. Okay. To try for more rolls. It has been discarded. I've still got one card in hand, but I think we probably want to trigger the showdown now. I think that's what we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're all in agreement? Yep. Okay. So we trigger the showdown. Yes, we are ready. All right, here we go. Right. We can do this. <laughs> we can do this. We have 10 fate to spend. Where are we going to put it? Well, we know we want to get Kravis's ghost, right? We talked about that. That's well, upper, are, upper left. Are we going to risk this? Because if we do that, that Kravis's ghost gone. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. Right. Yeah, maybe we should do that. And then we don't have to spend anything on Kravis's ghost. Yeah. But we still got four fate left. If... So question if uh if we if we roll and we get bad can we spend another five to do it again i don't believe so no i think you get one shot oh, okay it's a one shot on it okay. the problem is yeah. if this doesn't work and the chances are it won't work well, then wait. we've only got we've only got five fate left which is only enough to do one of these two well um so our other option is to do the two foes yeah which is yeah. that's and that seems like a better shot because the red court yeah. vampires we only need to get plus one on we the only roll. need plus one and, and Kravis's ghost we don't need a roll laura right so okay how so about how about if we try that try the vampires first then and decide afterwards if we yeah. go for that's a, that's a good 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 shout oh yeah because then we could take a long shot at who sent the vampires if we had to yeah yeah good right. call um, that makes there sense. Is, there, is a, there is a tip in the chat. Uh, don't let me roll in the final showdown. Well, since it would mean one of us getting on a plane and coming over to click the dice. Yeah, I'll wait here. It's fine. There you <laughs> go. Okay, I'm going to virtually we'll be there click. in about 10 hours. Okay, right. So we're going to do the Red Court Vampires first. I think that, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. We've done it. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. So, red core Beautiful. vampires have gone. And so, then we just do Kravis's ghost. Kravis's ghost. We just yep. need an average roll. Exactly. Yep. We got it. It's yes. did. <laughs> nice. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, now we can do this just for a bit of a laugh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 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 That's all right. We didn't need that. Fantastic. Um... Victory. One case solved, no foes remaining. Nice. We got a victory. Now, that's my first victory in this game for a very long time. Have they fixed the little eye button? No, they haven't fixed that yet. There's a patch coming, I believe, which is going to fix that, because that should pull up a game log. Well, there you go. We were victorious. Wow. That was that was good. Very nice. Go now, us. Matt, you've got the app, haven't you? Have you played this multiplayer yet? Uh, I have not. Yeah. So my, my, my experience now of playing this multiplayer con compared to the previous streams that I did, this was a lot more enjoyable. Yeah, this is much more fun than playing it solo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Now, what we've not done, and we might do this another time, is we might actually show off 
uh, the way that the app works if, if all players have got the app. Um, so we could do that another time, because Matt, you have the app. I have um, the app, I'd be open to it. Yeah, so you can do that. Um, you know, if you enjoy the app, you can go out there. Um, the base game is what you see here. I'll just show you what's included in the game. Can I show you what's included in the game? I'm not sure. Well, there's loads of expansions. These are add-on extras. You don't, you don't need these. You can play what we've done today. There's like five scenarios in there. There's five different characters to choose from. But they have introduced lots of other little mini expansion sets which introduce more scenarios, more characters, etc., etc. I will be picking them up uh, definitely if I can get that get that working because it's yeah a lot more characters a lot more variability um but you can play it like we've done today okay one per one one of you could buy it and then just use skype share the screen and do exactly what we've done today um and you can play this game with your friends you know around the world or your family or whatever using you know the technology that we've done today um which works fine so yeah how how because with me sharing my screen on skype you were seeing it Instantly, weren't you? There was no delay, really. No, there wasn't. Yeah. No. Yeah. Obviously, people watching at home, there was like a 10 second delay on the YouTube feed, but yeah. Um, for Martin Hilmar, they, they were seeing it di directly transmitted over Skype. Anyway, um, thank you very much to everybody for joining in. I did keep an eye on the chat, um, and yeah, hidden achievement were in the chat. Thank you very much for joining in. Uh, and a few other people who've joined us tonight. Yeah, if you like this video, um, yeah, if you want to see any more of them, let me know because uh, I'm doing a lot of content at the moment and I am mixing it up with what I'm what I'm doing. Um, but I am also open to suggestions. So if lots of you want to see more Dresden Files, just drop me a message and, and let me know. I'm more than happy to play this one again. Um, it's it's really good and it is now out on Switch, I believe, as well for those of you with a with a Nintendo Switch. Um, and yeah, as mentioned at the start, if you like the content that I create, this was not a sponsored video. It's purely funded through my Patreon campaign, so if you are able to support me and help keep the channel going, yeah, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. But for now, thank you very much, Matt. Um, it was absolutely my pleasure. Thank and you. we won. We won as well. I know. <laughs> we won, which is a turn up for the books. And uh, yeah, good to talk to you, Hilmar. That's my first time talking to you. Thank you very much for joining in. Thank you so much. It was a really a pleasure. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And are you tempted to go and read the books? Yes, I am actually going to get the books right now. Excellent, excellent. Well, your challenge is to read all of them within uh, within ten days. <laughs> I think I think the limit is uh, the the bar is now nine days. So <laughs> nine days, nine days. Um, yes, but yeah, thank you to both of you for joining in. Thank you to everybody at home again. Uh, I will sign off now, and I will see you uh, tomorrow. I've got a live stream going on at two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm doing the Pathfinder Adventure card game. Uh, and then Friday I'll be live streaming at 8 o'clock in the evening uh, with Glenmore 2 again. So that's what I've got planned for the next couple of days. But there will be some more as well. But they're the main ones. Right. Cheers, everybody. Take care. Uh, and thanks very much for watching. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.